Blurred. Blurred. All right. All right. Hold on. Take the glass. Hey, oh, it's me. Surprise, it's me too. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh, he's got ears. Um. Hey, everybody. Oh, Roger D. Let me get my hand turned around a funny way, better way, a better way to hold the camera. Let me say, what's better, this way? Well, then I'm looking down, and I look like, you know, a friend of mine told me the other day, he goes, you know, <laughs> you should you should get a, a costume. You should get the costume of King Tut, and you should go to conventions, and you should... You should dress like Victor, Victor, uh, what's his name, Victor Borg, not a Victor Borg, what was it, who the frick was King Tut, Victor Bono, <laughs> yes, black man, you fiend, <laughs> I would make a good Victor Bono, <laughs> oh, I can't let my sides hurt, oh, uh, yeah, Victor Bono, man, I, I could see myself, get that, I gotta get a, I, I probably would have to shave, why am I talking about this, and, and then stick that fake weird wiggly beard he has, that's like, <laughs> it's, 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 um, crimped for curls, you know, King Tut, Victor Bono beard, from the 67 Batman, King Tut, you foul, tell me you Batman, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Victor Bono. I'm 2016's Victor Bono. Okay. <laughs> now that I freaking cracked myself up, yeah, I'm watching um, in 3D. Oh, I got the thing here. Uh, in 3D. Point break. Point break. Focus. Focus. Lenticular. Lenticulous cover. A movie that I believe should not have been called Point Brink. Point Brink. Point Break. A movie that I I have a suspicious feeling wasn't originally called Point Break, but some Hollywood executives, I don't know, maybe decided to. Yeah, this is my little pillow. I see it in behind me, and people are going to go, what's that brown checkered thing? It's like a thing, I, it's like a flannel shirt, and I bundled it up, and I use it as a pillow. <laughs> um, okay, let me go back. Um, when, when I heard there was going to be a remake, a point break, Catherine Bigelow's... Uh, Catherine Bigelow? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um... Fantastic movie. Keanu Reeves, um, Patrick Swayze, Gary Busey. Uh, uh, I mean, it, 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 it's a classic from the 90s. Uh, fantastic film work. Fantastic film work. Laurie Petty. Uh, great, uh, amazing chase scene. Um, kind of POV chase scene through yards and through houses and through gangways. And dogs being thrown at people, and lawnmowers almost cutting people's heads. Um, just a great story. Just a great story. You know, the, the the first thing that came to me is like, why are they remaking this? Why? Why? Yeah, I know it's it's almost well, it is over twenty years old, but it doesn't need a remake because the original still holds up, and they already remade it if you will accept my idea on it, um, if you look at the original Fast and Furious movie, the very first one, it's pretty much a remake of Point Break. Um, a cop infiltrates a group of criminals to become one of them, to eventually stop them, of course, they're using fast cars to rob trucks in stunty ways, you know, and falls in love with the girl that was either an ex-girlfriend or, or part of the group. Um, 
yeah, we've seen it. So I, I equate fast, the Fast and the Furious one, the first one, as a remake of Point Break. Um, let me moot this. Moot is the point. Let me moot the point. Um, so as you can see, I have a bruise yet. And yeah, as you can probably guess, um, this is after I was in the hospital, and it, and it is. I, I needed some eye candy, so I decided to finally crack open, because I, I bought this a week or so ago. Um, in 3D, the Blu-ray, Point Break, the remake. You know why? Because, you know why? Let me tell you why. Because, um, boy, I'm glad I'm feeling good. Because um, I read the 3D uh, the Blu-ray.com 3D forums. And somebody, I'm sorry for those people who possibly are on those forums that watch me and that had made this comment, that said, this is a really good movie. It just shouldn't have been called Point Break. Uh, it should have been called something else. And I have the, well, you already saw. I think I already put it in there. Um, I came up with a great idea. I mean, I mean, when I saw the trailer, I was like, "This is like an X Games. This is this is all like extreme games, uh, you know, skateboarding down mountains and uh, uh, skydiving with the with the air suits, and it's it's all like X Games stuff, extreme sports." And I came up. With the, I, I I think what the original movie should have been called, Xdrenaline. Isn't that a cool name, Exdrenaline? Um, one, because, um, well, not to connect it to the original Point Break, but I do believe, I do believe, I do believe in ghosts. I do believe that the original poster quote for Point Break, the original Keanu Patrick Swayze movie, was called Pure Adrenaline. So, what better way to make a pseudo- remake of Point Break by calling it Xdrenaline by using the X Games thing at the beginning. Anyway, you know, that's that's the that's that's the alternate Roger in the Hollywood executives, you know. He has the mummy movies. What do we do with the mummy? Let's make Mummy 2 and Mummy 3. Roger goes, "No, no, no, with his big cigar. Let's make a Brendan Fraser character movie with Frankenstein, and let's make him with the Wolfman, and then the next movie, let's make him with vampires. Each movie will be a different universal monster, and he will be the Indiana Jones traversing the country, coming across all these different monsters. That's the old cigar-chomping Hollywood Roger in the alternate universe, as this would be. Somebody says, let's remake Point Break. Well, we already did it in Fast and the Furious. Well, eh, that was 10, 20, 10, 15 years ago. Let's make another one. Well, let's use the X Games and let's call it Xdrenaline. Do, 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 do. Roger's losing. Roger's losing. No, no. That, that's my idea. And, and I think a lot of people would enjoy that. Anyway, going to this. Watching this, and especially seeing the end credits, I'm like, I don't know any of these people. Who are these lead actors? I don't know any of these lead actors other than the... American cast, Delroy Lindo, and, um, oh, what's the other guy? I can't think of his name right now. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I love Denroy, uh, 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 Lindo, Den, Den, what the hell? Delroy Lindo, I, I think that's his name, right? I said it, and then it went poof, and it, Delroy Lindo, yeah, I like him. Um. A Life Less Ordinary, Ewan McGregor, Cameron Diaz, Delroy Lindo, um, Holly Hunter as angels. Those two of them are angels trying to... God, I love that movie. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Anyway, um, yeah, I like Delroy Lindo, but he's wasted here. He's the, poli the FBI chief that, I don't think, Utah, you don't know what you're doing. But what I'm saying is this would... This would have made a great movie if they just took some of the dialogue and changed it. Although it seems like they took a foreign film and they, well not a foreign film, but another action film, and they just put in 
lines of dialogue from Point Break, and they named them Brody and Utah and that, and they didn't need to. They could have had their own names, and it could have been its own extreme action film of this character trying to uh, uh, um, complete the eight stages of what this other character who had passed away had originated, you know, it's not for the riches or, or the money or anything, it's for the world, it's, it's, it's giving back, it's giving back, and, um, you know, they only, because they only touch on, like, the bank robberies just a little bit at the very beginning, but then they just throw all the money away, they're not using the money to go around, they're hired by some weird, uh, meg megalomine, yeah, um, yeah, an M word that I can't think of right now, uh, megalomaniacal. <laughs> Roger making up words again. Uh, what's the one? I don't know. Just let them go. That's why people say I'm like Jonathan Winters because I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, megalomaniacal. Megalomaniacal? Megalomaniacal. Maybe that's it. Um, you know, mastermind. I'm hiring these people and they're giving me the money. And the... No, no, no. Anyway, anyway, um, it's a pretty damn decent film. I, I really enjoy it. Boy, but, but you know, those scenes that they put in there, I, at least this is the way I'm thinking, that try to connect and try to be like put the original point break like the, the love interest the girl every time you know there there's some you know point break had a few really good action set pieces and it was all about Keanu getting infiltrated into the group and accepted this i mean every couple every every 10 15 minutes there's this huge stunt scene this big action scene which is visually beautiful to look at. Um, like I said, skiing, snowboarding, uh, parachuting, uh, all this extreme stuff, cl mountain climbing, mountain, although that gets a little kind of kooky when he's got to put one finger in a little hole in a mountain and pull himself up by one little finger. Um, so anyway, um, and, and those, those scenes that, that the lead actor, uh, Bro, not Brody, uh, uh, Utah has with this girl, it's like, all right, let this scene go by, you know. And you know what's the worst? I, I said Delroy Lindo as much as I like him. It's just the generic FBI in his group of people. Oh, we don't think you're on the right track. We're not going to go along with you. And then all of a sudden they, you know, I know what they're doing. And, oh, we're going to go by him. You know the Gary Busey character? The Gary Busey character was such an interesting character in Point Break. He had this charisma. He was jumping up on the desks, you know, sex wax, sex wax, you know. Uh, and um, the guy, the English guy, this old English guy they got for this, I don't know if he's a well-known actor in his country, but he is just like a waste in this. He He's just like... Well, are you done now? You know, or the kid's done. Gets a message, I'm in. Well, we got to change the plans. You know, and then and, and, and near the end, when he before they do the mountain climbing thing by the waterfall, you know, he, he's out by this rocky area by a, by a rapid... It's like, how'd this old guy get out there? It's like, what is he doing there? And... He, he he could have been just totally cut out. It could have just been the Brody character with another name other than... Excuse me. Not the Brody character. The Utah character without him being the Utah character. Just an extreme, extreme sportist who lost somebody, which is how this movie starts, uh, trying to get in with these other extremists, not knowing, or maybe as a cop, and trying to infiltrate... You know, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm 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 just you know rambling, Roger. Um, okay, so so yeah, that that's there. Delroy was wasted, and this old English guy was wasted in the Busey part. Um, 
I like all the actors. I like the lead. I like the guy playing Utah. I like the guy playing Brody. I like all the characters of the extreme sports guys. And I think and I like the way where it all takes place. It's all in Europe. You know, it isn't just like on the uh, 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 in San Francisco. It's not in the, on the beach. You know, it's not all in California. It's it's all around the world, all in these different locations, the Alps, the Himalayas, the you know, uh, uh, Africa, all, all these different places where they can do these extreme sports. So it's very worldly, and I like that about the movie. Um, these characters look foreign to me, and as watching the credits, like I said, I didn't recognize any of the Chris. You know, uh, I thought this was the cast, but no. Um, all these characters are very foreign to me, and uh, they look Russian and and um, just just a group of people from different parts of the country put together and I really like that about it um, so that I liked um, the extreme sports I really really liked the the visuals are fantastic I think um, okay the 3d because I got the lenticulous 3d I got my glasses um, I don't even got to show you. I don't need to show you. You know, I, I was wearing them. Uh, the 3D is pretty damn fantastic in this. It's all window box. It, there's very little pop-up. I mean, there's a few times when there's mountain mountains falling and snow in your face. Think just real quick. You know, but nothing nothing that's like, well, I got to look out. It's all window boxing. It's all we're looking into this world. and But the depth is so there. Uh, when they're up on those mountains and they're skiing down or snowboarding down these mountains and jumping, making these jumps, the 3D really works there. So the 3D presentation is more than adequate, in my opinion. Uh, as somebody said on the 3D forums, uh, which is why I picked this up, because they said it was really, really good. And that if you take your brain and say, this is not Point Break, it's another movie, um, it is another movie. It, it's a more enjoyable experience not thinking this is a remake of, of Point Break, which is probably a, a better experience with Fast and Furious when you don't think of that, which is why not too many people mention that it's a remake of Fast and Furious, or a remake of Point Break, Fast and Furious. You know what I'm saying. Um, so, okay, 3D, I'm done with the 3D, that's good. Uh, movie, had a great time. Like I said, I, I really never got bored. As soon as I got bored, there was another action set piece. Uh, and then that was really interesting. And yeah, there's a lot of bad lines. There's a lot of bad lines in this. And a lot of bad lines that seem to be taken from Point Break to put in this movie. You got nowhere else to go. It's done, Brody. You know, stuff like that and and some other stuff that just was like, oh, it would have been such a better movie if they just called it Extrenaline and released it as extreme adrenaline rushed characters trying to accomplish their mission while screwing up the system by stealing thousands, millions of dollars out of a jetliner and let it rain down on the poor of Africa or or and such of or and such of there we go <laughs> oh my god okay uh, this is old uh, Roger D from IMO reviews uh, didn't think I was gonna do one but I did one because I wanted to watch something new and I I was Totally entertained, totally enjoyed. Sat back, laid laid back on my old, my old um, flannel jacket thing, and uh, it's like the credits are ending now, so I've talked more than enough. But yeah, um, if you've, and this came out when Star Wars came out. What what was Hollywood thinking? They knew they they must have knew they had like some kind of a bomb. Well, you know, it's not a perfect movie. Let me put that right out there. Well. I'm at the end of the review. I should have said that right at the beginning. Ooh, FBI, I'm all red. Warning, warning, do not copy this. Interpol will come knocking on your door and steal your mattress uh, labels. Um, yeah, um, 
it's not a perfect movie. Not one whatsoever. It's not at all better than the original um, uh, Catherine Bigelow, Point Break, but it is totally entertaining. Very entertaining. Um, really, really a fun time with a bowl of popcorn and such. If you're just looking for some really fun action, it's a great little film. Um, you know, you got to look past all the remake stuff. And when that stuff does come out, just kind of go, okay, it's time to go to the bathroom, you know. Yeah, uh, okay. Come back. Oh, here's the next, another action scene. Let's see who lives in this. That's what you got to do. Uh, for those people who have 3D TVs, it is, I would say it's definitely worth a purchase for your collection. If you're looking for a movie that, that uh, you don't have in, this, in your 3D collection and uh, you're looking for something, uh, it's more than adequate 3D presentation. Uh, the depth is phenomenal, I think, especially the, the stunts, the mountain climbing, the skydiving, all that stuff really, really works. The 3D depth is there. There are very little, if not any, like 0% pop-outs, so keep that in mind. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's about it. This is old Roger D. on Channel Downstar talking uh, Point Break, which it shouldn't have been called Point Break. It should have been called Extrenaline. This is old Roger D. on Channel Downstar talking about the movie Extrenaline on IMO Reviews. Please check it out, and we'll see you in the next videos. All right, bye. <laughs> Extrenaline. Freaking great name for this movie. Oh, if I was only in Hollywood. Mm -hmm.